so I had to drink a little bit. <laughs> My throat is running dry. It's so hot in here. So, um, like I said, this is going to be an outtake for the interested boys behind the meme. Um, I'm probably going to add an LEA dance now. Thumb up if you um, get this pyrocynical reference. Um, yeah, partial fractions on this shouldn't be too hard. Um, let's see. So we have um, second degree polynomials down here. That means we have to have a AT plus B up here over this first factor. So T squared negative square root of two times T plus one. And also the second one, C times T plus D over T squared plus positive square root of two times t plus one. And what we can do now, we can multiply both sides by this big denominator. We, want, we don't want it to be equal to zero. So it also means that t squared is nothing but, now we have, oh goodness, a t plus b times. So this and that is going to cancel out to one. So we end up with this as the factor multiplying by this a t plus b. So t squared plus square root of two times t plus one. And then positive c times t plus d times and this and that is going to cancel out so we have to multiply it by this so t squared negative square root of 2 times t plus 1 and this is going to be quite a mess but let me write it out in a nice fashion so that also means so let's write everything out a t to the third power plus um, a square root of 2 square root of 2 times a whatsoever times t squared plus a times t. So that was the first factor. And now for b, so plus bt squared plus square root of 2 times b times t plus b. So those were the first ones. And now we are going to continue with factoring this out. So we have c t to the third power negative c square root of 2 times t squared. I hope you can see why I'm writing it this way so that you can see better what is going to cancel out in the end. Okay, next one, and then um, plus c times t. So for the next one, plus d, t squared negative square root of two, d times t, plus d. And I want you guys to notice, on this side, we are having a second degree polynomial. That means on this side, everything needs to be zero that uh, doesn't add up to a second degree polynomial, you could say. So that means, our first observations are that we need this to be equal to zero. So a plus c needs to be equal to zero. That also means that a is equal to negative c. So if you have done partial fractions before, you might know where this came from. So a needs to be negative c. So we got rid of this and that right here. That also means we can bring this together better. So let's conclude this at first. So now we have t squared. And now we have um, 2 times square root of 2 times a times t squared. So just plugging this condition right here into here, and we are going to get rid of this right here. So that's also nice. And this and that is going to cancel out. You see, using this condition right here, this is going to cancel out. And also, those are parts of a zero degree polynomial. That means b needs to be equal to negative t. So we got rid of this. And we are also going to get rid of this right here. And we are going to end up with, um, this stuff right here, so just like before, positive 2 times square root of 2 b times t. I hope you can see where this came from. So we have reduced this quite nicely. And all that's really left is to observe that this is only a second degree polynomial if this coefficient is going to be zero. 2 times square root of 2 isn't zero. That means b needs to be equal to zero, which also means that d is equal to zero. So we got rid of this. So all that's really left to say, we got rid of this, is that those two are equal. That also means, if we just compare coefficients, we know that one must be equal to two times square root of two times a, and since this factor is equal to zero, that means that a is nothing but one over two times square root of two. And we have another condition. We know that c is exactly negative a, that also means that c is nothing but negative 1 over 2 times square root of 2. And then we are done. I hope you enjoyed this little outtake. See ya.